Hi everyone, it's Anya from Cooking with Plants and welcome. If you're new to this channel, I'm really happy to have you here and I would love to have you as a new subscriber where I can share regular recipes with you also. To my regular viewers, welcome back for another quick and easy vegan recipe. And today I'm actually going to show you how to make some really lovely crispy mini potato waffles. So let's get into the recipe. Cooking with plants, vegan made easy. So for this recipe, all you need is some boiled potatoes. So what I did yesterday was actually boiled some little jet sized potatoes in their jacket. I boiled them for about mm, 40 minutes with the water starting from cold. So that was the total time that I cooked them for. You could peel these if you want to. If you don't like skin on your potatoes, then by all means, peel it off. But I like to keep it there. It just adds a little bit of extra nutrition. And these are organic potatoes, so I don't mind that at all. And potatoes are loaded with nutrition. They have iron and lots of vitamins and minerals, and they're not evil. They don't put weight on you. It's actually what you add to the potatoes that <laughs> adds weight to, um, to your body. So. The potato itself is absolutely nutritious and delicious so i'm going to cook these up into some small waffles today and i'm going to position four of these into my waffle iron so they fill up a quarter of the waffle iron each but if you wanted to you could do one bigger potato or you could do just one small potato however many you want to make it's totally up to you just load your waffle iron up and then you're set to go okay and now i'm going to just close this up Squish them in there. It's a bit hard. I've got a, a waffle iron when you normally pour the batter in the top, but it still works fine. So just squash it together, close it in there, and then leave this for a good 15 to 20 minutes to get really, really crispy. And then you can check on them after that. We want to get that moisture out. We want to get them nice and crispy and delicious. Now, while I'm waiting for these to crisp up, you can see the moisture is coming out of this one. This is one where the batter is normally poured into the top. But if you have a flat waffle iron, it'll just come out of the sides. So you may get a little bit of condensation coming out of the sides. So maybe just give that a wipe up with a tea towel. The, the thing here is you really want that moisture to come out. So that's why I like to boil my potatoes the day before I keep them in the fridge and that dries them out a lot more too. You don't want them too soggy when you're making this, otherwise you're going to have to wait quite a while for them to crisp up. So I like to just have my boiled potatoes in the fridge ready to go and I can make whatever I like out of them. I can make these, I could make a potato salad, I could chop them up and put them into a curry. They're just quick and easy and ready to go. So for this recipe, I like that method because it gets most of the moisture out and it's a much quicker way to cook them but if you're short on time and you've only just cooked your potatoes then put them in that's fine it will just have extra moisture and it may take an extra five or ten minutes for them to cook so just bear that in mind so this is the final product it's one big waffle or you can serve it in little individual sections as well it's totally up to you and this is so delicious, you can just serve this with hummus, with guacamole, some salsa. And my favourite is to actually have this as breakfast. And I serve it with tofu scrambles, some tomatoes or tomatoes, depending on where you are in the world. Some spinach sautéed with some mushrooms. And that is such a satisfying whole food, no oil breakfast. It's so healthy, so delicious and it easily keeps you going till lunchtime. So I am actually really, really hungry. This smells so good, so I'm going to get into this right now. But I look forward to you joining me for my next recipe. I like to keep it super simple and easy and no complicated recipes. So I look forward to seeing you soon. And also if you want to join me on Instagram or the Facebook group, I'll leave links to that below as well. So come on over and join me there too. I'll see you soon. Bye for now. Oh, that just smells so good. Mm -mm -mm. Have to eat. <laughs> Bye.